All right, guys, welcome back to Davis Auto Sales. We're over here in our alternative showroom, and uh, currently we have it full of side-by-sides and toys. Um, we want to do a quick video just overlapping some of these, which we do have in stock, um, and also how to buy from us on one of these units. So traditionally, we don't have financing here, like a car. You know, you're not going to walk in and get financing, but that's not that it's not an option. We do have some lenders that will lend, if you are a business owner, very easy to buy one of these um, and actually probably write it off as well in some way, shape or form to your business. But two, if you have Betty Sue at your bank or a good relationship with anybody that you do business with for banking, we'll be happy to submit it to try to get you a loan. But traditionally, these are sold for cash. So if one of them is 30 grand, easy, bring me 30 grand, you own it. Um, no additional fees, no bull crap. And uh, we do go over these units. So each one of them goes through Davis Off-Road, through Brian or Daniel, and we go over them. We don't make them perfect. These are off-road toys. They are meant to be in the mud. They're meant to be in the dirt. Every one of them has been used, not abused, but used pretty hard. And, you know, that's what they're used for. So if we find that, you know, it needs a tie rod, we're going to replace it. But if it has a little play here and a little there, if you look at like the red one, the description on it's pretty darn honest. It says, hey, it's got some wear and tear in the ball joints and some other things. We try to be up front. The wheel's not gonna fall off today, but you know, it does have some play. If we spend a thousand extra dollars fixing it up perfectly, we gotta ask an extra thousand dollars for it. So um, that one being a less expensive one, it's kind of priced like it is. The rest of them we've gone over, we've adjusted some things. Um, Daniel stocks a lot of the parts for service. If it has not had a fresh service, we'll give you the service items to go with it if we've not serviced it already. Um, we're big fans of Polaris. We've been buying Polaris units for 20 years now, ever since they came out. Uh, we love them, but uh, we do sell the Can-Ams. We do, back in the back there, you see a dune buggy, the big turbo razor there. That's actually on consignment from one of our good customers. And uh, you know he asked us to market it because he didn't want to deal with the public. Once again, kind of like our equipment sales. Uh, some people just don't want to deal with the hassles online. Just like selling equipment also, you gotta be very cautious with these things. They don't have a traditional title in most cases. Sometimes they do, but everything that comes from us is gonna have clear ownership coming to us, clear ownership going to you. So if it's ever disputed or it's ever a problem, we own this stuff, we've paid for it, we have documents on it, and whether it has a title or whether it does not have a title, you are gonna take clear ownership. If you buy one from your next door neighbor or your friend, the cautious factor of what you gotta be very cautious about is, they might still have a lien on it, that lien stays with the bike. So in most cases, now, unless they have a personal loan, but if they have a unit loan on this Polaris, just say, and they still owe $10,000 and they sell it to you and they stop making the payment or they don't go pay it off, the bank can come take that unit from you. So just buyer beware, be very cautious. Um, that's a real thing. We have seen it happen. It's very embarrassing to the person that buys it and the person that sold it. But nevertheless, unless you go and fight it out in court, you're going to lose what you've paid for and you're going to lose the money you've spent on it because it doesn't matter that you paid Bobby Joe for his four-wheeler. If he still had a loan on it, it's still owned by the bank. So just a little food for thought there. Uh, most of the ones we get are very well accessorized. That's the other thing people don't realize. You know, yes, you can go buy a new Razor. I think you can buy a new Razor for as cheap as 22, 23 grand if it's a base model. Um, this unit here, that unit there, that unit there. The one in the back, every one of these has ten to fifteen thousand dollars in upgrades. It adds up fast by the time you figure tires and wheels, light kits, stereo, bumpers, winches, uh, doors. Uh, it just it goes on and on. The one in the back there is incredible. Like that thing's got so much money in add-ons, it's more than the asking price of the whole unit. So um, we love our side by sides. We love our four wheels. We love our ATVs. We will sell a lot more of them now that we have some nice organized area to keep them. And the other thing is we will do a layaway. So if you do have your money coming together, you're waiting on a settlement, you're waiting on your taxes, you're waiting on a job to clear a big chunk, and you do have a decent down payment, we will accept a layaway situation. Um, bring me, you know, if it's 20 grand like this one here is, bring me half, you know, we'll hold it for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days is about as long as I wanna hold it. Um, but if you have a realistic timeline, we will work with you uh, so that you don't have to go through the bank and do financing. Uh, again, no problem to sell you one of these units. 
we have gone over them. If you're going to Busco or you're going to the mountains or you're going to Hatfield McCoy and you want to go riding, you can leave with one of ours, put it in the trailer and go enjoy it. Um, it's not going to be a piece of crap that you bought off Craigslist or Facebook and turn into a problem. So uh, we do ride these, we do use them ourselves. So we do try to make sure that they are hundred percent ready to go. So Davis Auto Sales, Richmond, Virginia, ATV and uh, side-by-side specialist, I guess you would say. We've had touched, owned and driven them. And then again, up at Davis Off-Road, they can accessorize them and do any kind of upgrades that you want. Sometimes they leave our warehouse here and go straight up there for Daniel and Brian to start working on them. And that's perfectly fine. You can upgrade and do whatever you want. Uh, hands down, no problem to handle for you. So thanks for watching today. Uh, we'll bring you some content on boats too. We do have some boats. It is winter time. Uh, people aren't thinking about that, but spring's around the corner. Same deal on those. If you want to get ahead of yourself and do something on our boats, uh, we'll help you out with a layaway or getting financing in order and get that straight for you. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned.